Yo, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to a brand new War Dragons video. So I'm pretty stoked about getting this out for you guys because I know a lot of you guys may or may not have Twitch, um, so you don't know or haven't seen this, but they released the brand new Mythic Emerald Dragons. Um, sorry, not released, but they have revealed the brand new ones. There's three, one Sorcerer, one uh, Warrior, and one um, Hunter, just like they did with Sapphires. So yeah, all I'm going to say is that they actually look so much better than I thought they would, um, to be honest. So big shout out to PG for making it look pretty decent. So the first one that I'm going to be talking about is the Warrior. Now, probably going to get these wrong, but Storheem, okay? This is a Warrior at level 1. All these guys have 9.8 million power at level 1. Like, that's actually so impressive. But look at this dragon, okay? Look at that, like... Like, it's actually ridiculous. Like, these look so good. Um, I'm going to go over the spells, but that is the first one. So, let me go ahead and find it again. Um, I know this is going to be, like, all over the place, a lot of loading, but I do want to get this out ASAP. Um, so, you guys know what's going to be coming within the next few weeks. Um, I'm not, I kind of want to get this um, pretty soon. But, these guys have some unique spells. They have some recycled spells. No, so they're not like the legendary dragons that came out before this, where it was like they had a few, like like one new spell for each of the legendary emeralds, and then like really really old recycled spells, um, and yeah. So now they have actually seemed to get their game together and changed it. Not sure why in the world these are not loading. Just load, please. All right, let me let me get these. There we go. No, okay. Feels bad. Oh, wait. There we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where is it? Yeah, there we go. Okay, sweet. All right, so this is Storheim. Storheim. Storheim or Stormheim. I'm not sure. So, again, it's a flamethrower attack because it is a warrior. So, shield blast. Now, a lot of people don't understand the difference between storm blast and also explosive shield. Storm blast reduces all damage. Until you take 50% of health. So basically what it will do is you will not take any damage until the towers that are shooting at you deal a total amount of damage collectively that equals 50% of your health. Once it reaches that, it will explode. So basically it's like explosive shield, but way better. It is two rage, I believe. Um, it is a blue spell. But yeah, so consider, like, just basically, it's a buffed explosive shield. Um, the shield blast will do, I think it's 10% of your max dragon's HP um, to towers, which is a pretty good amount, actually, um, because normally t dragons have a lot more HP than um, buildings do. So consider that. So shield blast is actually not too bad. Now, Berserk. Now, this is three rage. However, it is very, very good. It is a blue spell, but basically, when you use it, your dragon takes a little bit of health. So it's like, you know, um, the what's Galvanic Overload is supposed to do when you use it the second time. It takes a little bit of health, but it increases damage dealt and rage generation. So basically what you're doing is you're taking away some of your health and some of your rage to do something. So where you increase damage and rage and also destroying towers restores health during spell. And this restoring health, it actually does a really good amount. Um, it's like 5% every single building you destroy. So, using Berserk definitely might be worth it. Um, well, actually, it is very much so worth it. Because if you think about it, you're gaining your you're gaining your rage back, you're gaining your health back, and you're doing a lot more damage. And it's, it's pretty good. Now, Tectonic Bomb. Oh my goodness, man. I actually forgot what it does. I'll put what Tectonic does down in the description below. So if you want to know, um, because I forget, because again, guys, I watched the stream once, and then I, like, immediately started doing this. So yeah, so that is that. Um, alright, so next, I want to go and show you really quickly, wait, actually, do I have it? No, of course I don't. Man, I'm so unprofessional. Um, yeah, if it's new, if you're new to the channel, welcome, by the way. So the next one I'll do is the Sorcerer Night Ear. So he literally has, like, a storm cloud with rain following him in battle. It's actually so cool. Um, but this is Nair. Nair. I know Billy going to make fun of me for that. Um, so yeah, that is the dragon. This is his spells. Now, 
lock on attack means just the three, like you use, you know, swipe your fingers, cross the string. Now this is interesting. Elemental barrier. Absorbs damage from elemental tower attacks. Now if you read the patch notes, and I mentioned that in my um, video where I was talking about, I was like, I don't really know what this means. Elemental barrier is basically, what it does is there are five towers that are elemental type. That is fire turrets, ice turrets, uh, storm towers, lightning turrets, sorry, lightning towers, and dark flak towers. Now, of course, again, guys, it was confirmed that other flak turrets uh, will be coming out in the future, but for now, it is five. So, what you can do is when you hit elemental barrier, do it when there's a lot of fire turrets, ice turrets, and dark flak turrets, which is basically every single person's middle island, like the long middle island, where you see, like, in the video, um, like, right here, that's, like, the middle island. It's basically all dark black turrets. I mean, t TBH. So, this spell is going to be so useful. It is, I believe, one rage. It also, again, it does take four um, seconds to regenerate, so just remember that. Um, it is a white spell, so that's very, very nice. Now, this is where a lot of people don't understand. I'm moving on. Uproot. Basically, think about Uproot as being a buffed Umbral Spike. Uproot will do the exact same thing. It will take out any tower regardless of its um, level. However, the first cast of Uproot, which is basically like the you know, like every single time you hit the hit the button, again it is dos spellos, cierto, yeah, dos. Um, so it's two rage to dos spellos. Uh, it's two rage to cast, um, but it heals every single time you use it. So, I mean, it's kind of like Umbral Spike, but again, just a little bit buffed. Now, Noxious Vines is, again, basically just a buffed, um, basically, it's basically like a buffed, um, oh my goodness, man, I'm actually so stupid, um, Alright, um, I can't actually remember, but basically what it does is you can hit up the three buildings at once, it is, I believe, two rage, and what it does is it immobilize all towers until they are hit again. So, it's kind of like, man, I really wish I could remember it now. Um, but, so yeah, so it's basically just, you know, if you don't want to take damage from uh, certain towers, that does work against super shots. So, technically what you could do is when an attacker is using super shots on mages, hit Noxious Finds, and hit it, and then the Super Shots won't do anything. Again, it is a white spell, so you can use it even though there's red mages, even though there's blue mages, which is really, really good. The next one and final one is the Hunter, which is probably low, what most of you guys are here for, and that is Xenot. Xenot. X, X Xenot. I, I'm not sure how you say that. But yeah, this is a Hunter. He is basically like a Boreas' father, I would say. Um, he's very pretty. No, no, no. Uh, Boreas' mother. Yes, yes, yes. Because she has all the flowers. See? Like, many flowers. Um, so yeah. So that would be that. I'm going to show you really quickly. Well, not really quickly, but I will show you, um, what we are given with this dragon. Now, this systemic, systemic, the first one right here. Yeah. Um, so yeah, basically what that does is... Actually, hold on, let me go on really quickly. Alright, so Earthquake. It is one rage, you get up to five dragons, sorry, at five buildings at once. It does a, about 25% um, damage to buildings, and then also immobilizes them for two seconds. Um, again, this is one rage. That's it. So, if there's no red mage tower, use this, like, ASAP. Because what this does, it just deals 25% of damage, and then immobilizes towers for two seconds. That is enough for hunters, especially if you use three finger taps, which by the way, um, sell out. But I'm gonna be having my first ed video coming out very, very soon. For hunters, it's actually, I, I think it, it's turning out pretty well. Um, just wanted to shout that out really quickly. But yeah, so that's Earthquake. Um, dissipate. Now, this is very interesting. It's basically like, again, a buffed spell, which is Cloak. So, your dragon goes invisible and recovers ammo. It's 50% of ammo. Now, ammo is like the hunter energy. It's the bar right underneath health. And that is the number of times you can click the screen, basically. So that happens. But while your cloak, your dragon moves like super slowly. Um, it's like like a snail. And it's 
probably about 10% speed. So that means that you have t more time to gain rage and you're not um, coming too close. Because what you can do is while you're in that mode, basically, um, and you're going a lot slower, you can actually deal damage to other towers behind that. Um, upon uncloaking, and uh, again, explosion damages new towers. So it feels I feel like PG is gearing towards having a shield that deals a bunch of damage, which is fair enough. Um, but yeah, it's a very interesting spell. Again, you have fire to resist, which is very nice. What's unique about these mythic dragons is that they actually have resist. The other mythic dragons haven't had any. So that's very, very interesting. Um, I, I think I think that's a good idea. Um, because I would really like to have like an ice or fire turret um, resist on my apathet. Currently, I don't. Well, obviously, I don't. But I think that's a very good idea to have them do that. And yeah, so that's just like, in my opinion... Overall, um, I know people are going to ask me, do you have anything left to continue because we have a lot of stuff left. I don't think they will be as good as the Hunter and Sorcerer. Um, because like I mentioned before, I mean, look-wise, honestly, I really like this uh, Sorcerer next because it's very, very unique. You know, you have this, like, random uh, storm cloud going, even while it's attacking, you like you have, like, water going over the wings if i get a chance i'll do like another video on like gameplay of these dragons so you know if you're a top player and you want to be shot out and you want to you know donate a um like a replay of one when you're attacking i'd really really appreciate it so i can do a video on it um like that would actually be really sick i might give you something for it actually for providing content but yeah these look so good in action i wish i could you know like take a video of the Stream. I'm not sure if I'm allowed to do that legally. Um, let me know down in the comments if I'm able to. I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. But yeah, so that's the new spells. That is the new um, dragons. I know I didn't know all this stuff. I, I apologize for that. Really do. But yeah, this is what you should be, um, be able to expect in the very near future. She said one or two weeks. This is PG, so I'm going to say like about two weeks, maybe even three um, honestly, the thing is, I'm not even going to be coming close to these dragons anytime soon. I'm not going for Morphos, by the way. Um, I decided I probably shouldn't. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys did leave a like down below, if you like my new intro, I mean, it, it looks pretty A1, if I do say so myself. Like, man. Anyway, so yeah, I actually, yeah, that was pretty, pretty lit. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys did, leave a like down below. If you have any comments, questions, concerns. I do have percentages for some of this stuff. So if you do have, like, percentage, um, like, the exact percentages of what some of these spells do, let me know down in the comments below. I will for sure answer them. Trying to get better at answering all the comments on these videos. But I get a ton of e emails in-game, and that's really where I focus on answering. So if you do comment, please understand I may or may not answer it. Um... I do work on them very, I, I do try to do it. I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching, guys.